Yo, what is up people? It is your boy Sneebles right here. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Once again, today, back again for some more FIFA 21 MK Dons career mode. Uh, back on that grind, of course, uh, in that uh, in this season. Uh, another season, of course. Um, yeah, not doing too bad. Like I say, say every time uh, when I start this video, um, you know, could be better uh, considering the last, at least I think the last two videos I've done uh, for you guys, uh, it's been literally more or less draws, uh, which is not good. Um, if we just obviously go on the calendar uh, as we are on right now, uh, obviously we beat Stoke 3 0, nice, comfortable, clean sheet in the last uh, game to end that video, which is brilliant. Uh, but drew 1 1 with Norwich, drew 2 2 with Middlesbrough, uh, drew 1 1 with Stoke, beat uh, Blackburn 3 on, beat Swansea 2 on, beat QPR 3 2. There were more draws, weren't there? No? Okay, maybe not. I also know we only got three draws in a row. I thought we had more than that actually. Uh, but yeah, so those three draws in a row was not good and it's pegged us back uh, quite a bit with Brentford just catching us up a bit more, which is not great. But there you go. Um, but we just have to really pick this up, honestly. We have to pick up. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead with that uh, and start with uh, Swansea at home, which again, not going to be an easy game at all. You know, Swansea can be a very uh, tough team, uh, considering that they are, as far as I know, um, oh, I do not want to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> not that I'd do anything, but I nearly quit out there of the uh, um, the game. Um, but yeah, so as you see on the table, we're top level points, so 58 points. Uh, got better, obviously, goal difference, so that is why uh, we're still practically top. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough, it is tough, but with Swansea next, they should be, yep, yeah, ninth they are. So 38 points, yeah. Like I said, not going to be as easy. We, we might still smash them five 0 I don't know. You never, you just never know in these in these games. You never know if you are going to get a massive result against uh, these sort of teams. But yeah, we'll see what we can do. So um, I mean, the bottom of the table though. How does that look? Uh, Huddersfield, Sheffield Wednesday, Loom. Okay, not doing great at them. Um, but yeah, so it, like I said, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. Swansea is going to be not not exactly an easy team to really come up against. So going back on the calendar, um, we do, like I said, Swansea first, then Barnsley on Christmas Day. Um, wait, I don't remember, in real life, do games play on Christmas Christmas Day? I don't remember in, in, you know, back in the day on, you know, on Christmas Day. Like I know they definitely don't now at least, but I could swan there's, there's games on Boxing Day, but, or, or at least Christmas Eve, I think, but not... Not Christmas Day, <laughs> that's going to be really weird. Either way, um, but yeah, Barnsley on them. Um, and then we've got uh, <coughs> Sheffield Wednesday, I think that is. And then we've got... Uh, <laughs> like I've said before, the badges, you know, I'm not so familiar with every badge. Um, I assume this is... Uh, this is Yeah, Sheffield Wednesday. Okay, so we've got them, which Sheffield Wednesday are, like, technically, yeah, they're 21st. So you might be able to rest some players uh, for that game. Um, might even make it Barnsley, but <clears throat> I'll have to switch players around, anyways. Um, excuse me. Then we have a, a cup game at home um, against who's that? It, Huddersfield, yeah, for Huddersfield. Uh, we have them in the round three, so the start of the FA Cup journey. So technically, uh, an easy, easy-ish start, but we have to play it obviously first and see if we can get the result. Uh, so that's, <laughs> you never know until obviously you've done it. So simple as that. Um, <clears throat> but definitely those four games in this video, uh, yeah. at least obviously three, I've always said this before, you know, I'm, I'm starting to do three lately, uh, makes, doesn't make the videos as long, but, and obviously me bad blabbing on is not really great, um, but yeah, um, but we might do four on this one, um, just to finish off this month, um, but yeah, but Swansea first, you know what, we just got to go ahead with it, uh, on that note anyways, Swansea at home, can we get those three points? Can we push on and you know get the results back uh, with the wins uh, after you know a few draws these days? Um, but yeah, uh, if, we, if we can, brilliant. If we can't, great. <laughs> not not great, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so Swansea at home. Let's go ahead with it. Let's get these points. Let's do it. Adiyemi, oh, brilliant ball in. Um, oh, it's an own goal. <laughs> I wonder why the camera won't go uh, towards Adiyemi there, but oh, it is as well. You can actually clearly see it comes off their defender. 
Um, I thought Adi was going to win that boy. He should be. He should be winning that. To be fair, um, but hey, defender wins it before him, and it's come off him instead, and it's going into the back of the net. It's still, it's a goal. I'll take it. Oh come on! Oh, fuck's sake! Oh. Still looking to get the shot off. No way! No way! Oh, I've got a fucking injured defender as well. My CDM. Oh, that's that goal is so annoying. In the lead up to that, I won the ball back with the guy that actually got injured as well. Um, and then somehow I lost it. I didn't know how. And then. I should have defended better there, I know, but it's, nah, it's, it's not a goal, but okay, <laughs> when I say it's not a goal, it's just, it shouldn't be a goal, simple as that. Oh. Are you serious? It's that guy again. Where's my defender? Because he should be getting that. And then where's the keeper? What the hell? Bad defender. That is. It's that. It's not major wrong with it, but you know, my defender should be getting that, and the keeper should be saving that. Hundred percent. That's one of the worst goals I've ever conceded in terms of how tight that was. The ball to go through. Really. Okay, we've got we've got work to do, man. Oh, go on. Oh, it's in. It's actually two, two, just for half time. Adimi and Ferreira working it there. <laughs> I, was, I mean, wow, it was really tight to actually get that through, to be honest. But 2-2. Two, two, I'm sorry, we should be 2-0 up. 2-3-0 two, up, easily. Their goals are just so cheap and just shouldn't be goals. But, you know, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really bad, really bad. We're back in it. I guess that's all that matters, but we need to work harder, man. Well, Asuro on the ball. Fucking ridiculous. I'm starting to get annoyed now with this. It's stupid. You know what I'm going to be honest, it probably is a penalty, but it's it's not really. I say it's not because I've not meant to do that. I just want to tackle the ball. He's gone right into him. Fuck's sake. Hey, fucking wank. <laughs> Excuse my language, but Jesus Christ. Alright, I got away with that bit. Could have been a hat trick for that guy, Connolly. But, I mean, it's, this game's been incredible. It honestly has. That's it, release him. Comes all this. It's your chance. To be a hero, yes! Get in there. 3 2. With four minutes left, and Zolis has done absolutely nothing this game. My uh, right winger. Honestly, absolutely nothing. From nowhere, we get the 3-2. Incredible. Honestly, incredible. This game has been literally up and down. Wow. Honestly, great finish. But Jesus. Okay, three points are in the bag. Wow. You know, like I said, I, the, the way the game went, we probably shouldn't have got three points. Probably shouldn't have. Uh, and I'd say probably didn't deserve really uh, honestly Swansea had a lot of the ball I think they finished with more possession even though we're at home it was hard it was hard keeping that ball for some reason just couldn't really play the football that we usually play but three points in the bag I guess you know as I always say that's all that matters but yeah wow what a tight game some of the goals they we conceded just outrageous in my opinion but there you go it is what it is uh, obviously conceded penalty Connolly, their player, uh, complete fluff bit. Could have got a hat trick and could have got him a point at least, you know. Could have gotten potentially three points. But yeah, so got uh, got all the three points and that's what it matters. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so straight on to our next game. Uh, we have Barnsley who sit 20 seconds, so they're not doing great. Uh, with that win though, we're still level with Brentford. They obviously won their last game. So yeah, yeah, we have to just get the result against Barnsley and get the three points and just keep pushing on. Uh, stop conceding stupid goals, but hey, I don't know what else to say. Um, but on 74 goals already uh, at the start of the season, is, is quite incredible as well. Um, but yeah, doing well there, but just need to stop conceding. Uh, improved though, I've always said that, we have improved a lot. Um, but we just need to do, again, even more better. Uh, but Barnsley, like I said, next, uh, they're sitting 22nd. I think they were actually 21st uh, before. Uh, before this game with them, but 22nd now, 17 points, you know, 
Uh, they've only scored 17 goals, conceded 37. Yeah, we should have to put goals past them. Simple as that. So let's go ahead with it. Let's get the three points here uh, against Barnsley. Hopefully we do. So let's do that. Good thinking. Go on, Babay. Yes, this is actually 1-0. Benjamin Babay, my former right mid, right wing, whatever, that was getting a lot of games, um, was my main right mid, but until brought Zolis in, uh, even Szymanski as well, gets the goal. You know, I thought I'd give him a game. Um, I've got a very much more weaker side than usual, and we are not doing great. We've got the lead, admittedly, luckily, we shouldn't re really be 1-0 up. But hopefully we can uh, improve on this though. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking about goals. I mean, obviously that as well. But the performance has been awful. You might, might not have seen it all, of course. But we have been giving the ball away way too much. Oh, go on, North. That's brilliant stuff. Great stuff. 2-0. That was deserved. That was good play. And since I said that in the last goal, you know, to improve the football that we've been playing this match, We've improved it. Simple as that. Um, but yeah, 2-0. And uh, yeah, brilliant stuff. That space open for Bat for Batty. On that side. He's got North. Who's got <laughs> Borges. To just roll it. To get that third goal. And to finish the game off. Um, I know a lot of players hate that goal. I've probably said it before. But yeah. yeah. Just got to do it. He has to do it. Borges, I think it's his first goal of the season as well. Gets the goal and uh, you know, North unselfishly plays it beautifully along to him. And there you go. Here's 3 0 and game over, really. Go on, North. Oh! I mean, Ferrero. It's 4 0. It's a fantastic hit into that corner. And Ferrero on his left foot, his weaker foot, as a sort of sl it, it felt like it. I don't know. I don't know how I can say it felt like it. But you know what I mean? When you take a certain shot on FIFA, it always feels like. You've hit it sweet or you sliced it, which it, that's what how it felt like. And it's still gone in. It's a brilliant hit, to be fair, in the corner. Doesn't score as many goals for me uh, these days, Ferrero, but comes out of things like that, to be honest. <laughs> He's just about to come off as well, give him some rest. And, uh, yeah, brilliant stuff, 4-0. Good stuff. It's a brilliant 4-0 victory, and it's a clean sheet. It's our second one in uh, in three games, which is not too, you know, too shabby, to be honest. Obviously, more clean sheets like that we need. Probably didn't deserve a clean sheet in some way. I think Barnsley deserved you know, one, if not two. And that's just, you know, I'm always like that. I always can be honest. Um, they deserve something, uh, even if it was just a goal. You know, deserve something out of the game uh, from that uh, from that point of view. But um, yeah, you know, honestly, great game. Three points in the bag. Good stuff. Okay, into our next game against Sheffield Wednesday next. Uh, who sit 20th? Uh, they've improved, I think, on their position. Um, whether they won their last game, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Brentford obviously beat Luton Town their last game. Um, if we just go back to it, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday did win. Um, that's what I literally just said as, a, um, as well. Uh, they beat QPR 2 0 away as well, so that's a decent victory for them. Uh, Brentford won 4 0 just like we did uh, in our game, so you know, yeah, impressive for Brentford there uh, to get a, a good battering like we did. Um, but yes, yeah, so Sheffield Wednesday, like I said, won their last game, so got a little bit of a yeah, a bit of a step in, you know, their stride obviously after that win. So they're gonna obviously probably feel it. Um so you know, we have to still be uh, on our toes and hopefully get the victory that we deserve. So yeah, obviously we haven't played it yet, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um so yeah, let's go out of that. Um half and half pro team in this maybe. a few changes obviously as usual. We've got a cup game obviously against Huddersfield uh, soon. So, you know, might maybe put a strong team out in this and a weak side out against Huddersfield. Yeah, I don't want to go out of the cup, but you know what I mean. Huddersfield are twenty four, so do a bit, a little bit more worse uh, than uh, than than Sheffield Wednesday. So, but yeah, we'll go ahead with that. Like I said, three points should be in the band, but we've got to play, you know, even better against than Barnsley because Barnsley still wasn't as impressive, but it turned out to be all right, of course, in terms of goals anyway. So, yeah, on to that next game. Let's get those points. Go on! Oh. You know what, I don't know why, I just didn't think I was going to get that, to be honest. That's why I weren't really, I don't know, whether you can tell but, uh, from the camera, I just, I don't know, I wasn't as excited for that ball to go in. I thought, you know what, I don't know, I'll swing it in and see what happens. But I see North running, that's why I put the ball in. But I was like, you know, I don't know if he's going to get this. But great ball in from Rayner, 
And it's a good meet from North. There you go, 1 0 is a good start. A great ball over. Oh, what a finish that would have been. Oh, wow, that bar. Go on. Oh, oh. 2 0. It's not even offside. <laughs> Sorensen makes it 2 0. 20 minutes gone. <laughs> It's a little chip in again. I'm, I'm not. I'm just like, nah. I'm not gonna win this ball. North wins it. It's a simple header, but you know, um, keeper saves it. Comes back out of Sorrington, and there you go. So, Rainer's having a great game that left side, uh, causing a lot of problems for Sheffield Wednesday. But two 0 fully deserved. I expect that from my boys against the team that's at the bottom. And there you go. Can't ask for more. That's a great ball. In. Oh my god. Well, it didn't look amazing, the ball, the delivery itself, but it's a great miss. Rainer, again, it's his third assist of this game. Brilliant stuff. Um, playing brilliant football he is. And he gets North in there. And there you go. 3-0. Yeah, fully deserved. Good stuff. Here's a 3-0 victory. Clean sheet in the bag. And the result uh, overall in the bag. Fully deserved. Um, great play. Obviously, we had a bit of a strongish team, considering... In the next game we have against Huddersfield um, uh, in the FA Cup, I might be putting a, another weaker side out. Um, but it's a great time to get your players rotated, rest some players as well. Um, North Wolf, started, got two goals. Um, to bring Adi Emi on, could have scored actually one or two as well himself. Uh, got him, I gave him at least half an hour because obviously he's potentially not going to play in the next game. Again, like I said, I want to rotate, be realistic. And uh, get other players out there, but you know we should be fine. Excuse me, Jesus. Uh, hopefully, anyways. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Three 0 It's a good result. That's all I'm at. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna play the fourth game. I haven't done four games in one video for a while, uh, but we're gonna do it. Uh, we have got, like I said, Huddersfield in the FA Cup third round to finish off this year. Uh, obviously, we're on December thirty first, so we'll be straight into the transfer winner after this. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, we can get the result. Um, we should really Huddersfield are literally bottom of the uh, of the of the actual championship table, so you know, results should be ours. But you know, we're going to give again, you know, some players games, and hopefully, you know, we we have the odd strong, strong player player that I think deserves games that has had games but not many games. You know what I mean? So, so for example, De Costa, you know, a young player who I think deserves playing games anyways. He'll probably play this game, uh, possibly anyways. So. Like I said, it should be a win. Hopefully it is. So let's just do this. Let's go ahead with it. And uh, FA Cup third round it is for this game. Tackle is in again. Making some good runs. He's got the Costa though. Who does make it 1-0. Just after 10 minutes. The Costa has put us one up in this FA Cup third round tie with Huddersfield. Um, the Costa originally I think played that ball to Tagawa. Who's up top for me today. And uh, yeah, Tagawa then feeds it back into him, and then you know, simple run into the box, and boom, into the corner, one nil. Oh, I've hit the bar! I just the defence is just oh, right. batty, two nil. <laughs> what a hit from uh, Da Costa! Bent it, literally was bending the top corner practically. It's rattled that bar like anything. I. The defenders just were just moving off. They weren't even coming near me. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try and bend it in. Unlucky, but what happens there with the with their defence? I don't know. They've just gifted me that goal. And Babati with his second goal in as many games actually, in as many starts anyways, thrashes it into the corner. Two 0 Oh. How does he get that goal? Um, you do. Oh. I know, I say things like this a lot, but don't deserve it at all. <laughs> Honestly, don't deserve it at all. Uh, been very dominant in this game. We're still leading, of course, but that goal is going to make it a nervy finish. Um, it's just a header down, and then their, their other player, look, it's just... See what I mean? The type of goals that computers score against you, it, just, it is incredible uh, of what type of goals. So not only near post and that, but goals like that, they've just awkwardly headed it down that has tried to score and then it's just fallen to another player in front of him. It's just, honestly it's mad but yeah 2-1 we should still finish this out but yeah just a crappy goal I can see. Come on Tagore you do deserve a goal and 
missed that. Oh, we finished 2 1. We finished winners, but if I just showed you it there, like, Tagawa deserved, honestly, Tagawa deserved the goal in this match, to be honest. I uh, should be finishing that, but had a great game, honestly, up top. Full 90 minutes for him. Brilliant stuff, obviously. He doesn't get many minutes under his belt because, yeah, North, Adiyemi, yeah, they're much better players to play in front of him. Um, but, yeah, we managed to still get the win, anyways, so it's all that matters. Um, but, yeah. In some ways, just you know, Huddersfield with that goal back, you know, put us on a bit bit of the edge there. But you know, even when we went two and up inside 40 minutes, we should should have definitely scored. Should have had at least a third goal, 100%. Um, but yeah, yeah, my uh, sort of reserve team done really well, and I'm happy with that. So yeah, played really well. So yeah, got the got the win through the next round. Okay, so after that, you know, great win over um, Huddersfield in the FA Cup third round. We're done with that. Uh, but just to talk about some departures, uh, we've sold uh, Nichols, uh, Lee Nichols, one of my goalkeepers, uh, my most experienced goalkeeper, but just I didn't rate him, to be honest, really didn't. Um, he's gone to Cardiff City. Um, I can't remember how much he's gone for. Um, I'll probably check in a bit. Uh, Makiki has left as well. He's joined a LAFC, uh, so he's left. And uh, yeah, that's it, that's it. Just literally those two players are gone for now. Uh, so we're in the transfer window now in January, of course. So... Whether anything will be done in terms of transfers, I don't know. Um, but hopefully, you know, we can get something done. Um, but just, you know, just to end it uh, on showing you, of course, the table. Uh, so good results, honestly, good results. We uh, we managed to get uh, all three wins as well in the, in the league. So that's uh, that's all good. That's the good news about it. Uh, but Brentford in their last game, um, okay, so they didn't didn't play. Uh, then Brentford, yeah, two 0 So I'm just going to quickly see. Brentford must have lost their last um, last league game. Uh, but no. yeah, Brentford won four one there. They must have because yeah. Uh, Brentford they won four 0 there. Yeah, there you go. They lost three two to Bournemouth, um, who sit four. So Bournemouth have obviously yeah got a win there to sort of catch up with the top three. So yeah, uh, thanks to Bournemouth they've gave me. A bit of a hand there to, to stay three points now clear of Brentford. So, yeah, still top of the league, of course, and still doing really well and uh, really happy for that. Um, getting the results that we need. Uh, yeah, it's just, just obviously good stuff. So, it's just, just literally what we need to do concentrate on the football and uh, get the results that, you know, we deserve. So, yeah, yeah, good video, successful video. So, hope you guys, of course, enjoyed as always. Leave a like, of course, and subscribe. Much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next episode of our MK Dons FIFA 21 journey. And uh, yeah, until then, so yeah, take care as always. Like and subscribe as I always say. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.